You know what we do have is uh, uh, Monday, uh, Monday we had a, uh, a great day in our country, yes. Memorial Day. Yes. Yes. I hope, you, hope you remember that as yep. soldiers. Yeah, yes, uh, I, I spent uh, I spent uh, 21 years as a soldier in the Army. Amen. I served in the National Guard. Amen. National Guard, and I had some active duty time for training. But, uh, you know, I, I love the Army, but uh, I'm glad that God adopted me into his Amen. 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 I, w I was saved, like I said, 40 years ago. Yeah. I was saved. Yeah. On June the, the 17th, I hope you remember the day you were sure. first. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's good to remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, there's some things that we ought to remember because we want to honor those who came before us. Sure. Yes, sir. And Jesus paved the way. Yeah. And I'm oh. glad for that, aren't you? Yeah. But I have what he has, yes. and that's yes. eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a gift to me. Yeah. And I praise God for it. I'll Amen. never get over it, and I hope I, you don't get over it. Amen. We don't need to get over that. Amen. But I'd like you to turn, if you will, to uh, Joshua uh, chapter 1. My theme is going to be uh, on soldiers. I hope you don't mind that. God's heavy on soldiers. Uh, he honored some soldiers. And uh, I believe our Lord in uh, Joshua chapter 5 and verse 13 is the captain of the host. Uh, the incarnated Christ, I believe, and I, he's pretty, pretty heavy on that. Yeah. Joshua and chapter 1, and I'm turning on this. I don't have it marked out here like I normally do. The church that I pastor uh, knows about my paper clips. <laughs> trying to find my way in that, around here with the passages that I've marked out. If you look here, well, I'm going to give you the story before we start, and then we'll pray. We'll read this, and then we'll pray. Yep. Uh, now, uh, now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness of this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, under the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, right. nor Amen. forsake thee. Now here's uh, the instructions for this, uh, this soldier, this Joshua. In verse 6, he says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest serve, uh, uh, observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, yes. that thou mayest observe it to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make yes. thy way prosperous, right. and then thou shalt have good success. Has not it commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Amen. And I, that's a charge. Right. That's a charge to Amen. Joshua yeah. and, and the legacy left to Moses. Right. Yep. We have is in our in our churches today a great responsibility. Yeah. We've uh, we've been charged to carry the word of God out into a godless world. The yes. Bible calls that a very <laughs> wicked world in First John in chapter five. And that means it's wicked from the get-go. It's wicked in its finances. It's sure. wicked in its Amen. religion. It's wicked in its political system. Sure. It's wicked in its education. There's no good, none. That's good. It's all against the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're on His side. Yeah. So that means it's against us. Yeah. Sure. If you'll turn over to 2 Timothy, please. I've got a little bit of time to preach, and I appreciate Brother Amos allowing me the privilege of coming up here and preaching. In 2 Timothy, in chapter 4, we're going to see a similar charge yes. in verse 1. 
I charge thee therefore before God, chapter 4, 2 Timothy, verse 1, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Yes. Be in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Right. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having its ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of the evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. I love this, what Paul charged the uh, young man Timothy, and uh, what he could expect. The title of my message today, before we pray, is A Good Soldier. Yeah, yeah. A good soldier. So we're going to be looking at 2 Timothy chapter 2. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before thee today, and we are before thee, and all of our thoughts, words, and deeds, God, we ask you that you bless us this morning. Oh God, yes. we want to bless you. We've seen already too much to discourage us in this world. Yes. Oh God, the Fox News and CNN and Headline News and the wickedness we see in every door in our country. God, it never used to be that way when this country was founded. Sure, there were sinners, God, but there was a vision from the people that wanted to escape persecution. Yes. God, they came to a place seeking the freedom to worship thee. And God, you granted that freedom by a strong hand. And we ask you, dear God, that you would help us in this hour of our yes. need. In Jesus' name, and amen. amen. I'm going to look at 2 Timothy here. I like the scripture. I like to read the scripture. I hope you do too. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I, I see some day, I, I knew a couple of preachers that they read a verse and then they close their Bible. Kind of made me a little bit dismayed. Yeah. A little bit discouraged about that because I like the scripture. In verse, uh, in chapter 2 of 2 Timothy, we're not going to worry out with it, but it's good to have. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, yes. the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Right. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier yes. of Jesus Christ. Right. No man that warped entangleth himself in the affairs of this life that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Yes. Verse 5. And if a man strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. I'm just, just going to give you a couple of thoughts right here. Uh, I see in, in my training, I uh, grew up as an, in an average middle class home. Uh, they, there was Catholic leanings in our home. We uh, didn't go to church, but if you'd asked us, we'd have said we're Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that discourages most right. Baptists at the door right there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and we'd run a few off, as a matter of fact. I don't take uh, joy in that today, but there, there was two people that knocked on doors, Baptists and Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. And we couldn't tell the difference. Uh, and we didn't know. We didn't listen long enough for that. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm glad that uh, God, through His mercy, tracked me yeah. down. Hey, you hey, know, man. I hear about that, Steve, how some people say they're seeking after God. I think they're seeking after something, but the Bible says no man sought after God. Amen. God sought after us. Amen. I see that Adam in the garden, he didn't go hunting for God. He was running. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just the way where you and I were before God saved us. Amen. Amen. Isn't God marvelous how good the tracker is? Amen. 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 You know, he uh, is uh, kind of like the army tracked me down. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a little bit of that. I was drafted uh, because of the Vietnam War. Yeah. And uh, there's going to there's going to be a story here in Christ, and you're going to see that as I as I have the opportunity to relay this. But uh, I was drafted. And I went in in 1964, and uh, I uh, went into basic training. And uh, the uh, thing about basic training is, is they don't, there's no, they're like God. They're no respect to a person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you go in there, no matter what kind of hair do you have, they rip it all off. You know, God's into changing us. You know that? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know how the military system works, hey, but they take you in there to break you down. Right. right. Yeah. I know a lot yeah. of my cohorts, the people that I went in with, they thought they was going to instill their kind of rule in the Army, and it didn't work out too well for them. <laughs> Amen. They, they found out that there's a higher authority, and I think the yep. Christian needs to find out out right now right. right. that yeah. God's making a change in you. Amen. And He wants you to yes. submit to that change. It's yes. a hard thing to learn when you're in the army. Yes. I'd like you to look, if you will, into Jeremiah. 
Uh, this is good. This, I, this deals with other soldiers. This deals with it. Can I take a drink of this? Amen. Oh, yes. This has been opened before. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, I uh, some of our people know that I kind of had the tremors. And it gets real interesting now when I'm in the ward supper time. <laughs> when I have to take the juice. Yeah. We got our people all bow their head and pray. <laughs> pray for Brother Zammer, man. In Jeremiah in chapter, uh, let's see, we went 41. In verse 16. Uh, then took Johanna, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people he had, recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah and Mizpah, after he had slain Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, even the mighty men of war, and the women and the children, and the eunuchs whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chinnom, which is by Bethlehem, to go to enter into Egypt. These men of war right here were not standing in their place of defense. They, uh, they seen this great horde coming over from Babylon, and they wanted to get out of there. They wanted to go into Egypt. It's kind of reminds you today, Egypt is a type of the world. You know that. Yes, right. Egypt is a type of the world. Babylon is a type of the religious system. Right. And uh, so they, uh, they, they were chasing these guys, said, we're going to leave. I want you to notice in chapter 42, verse 1, they can make a connection. Uh, the connection, that's an interesting word today. Uh, then all the captains of the forces of Johanna, the son of Korea, and Je Jezan Jezaniah, the son of Hoshai, and all the people from the least unto the greatest, came near unto Jeremiah. Now watch it. And said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant, for we but are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk and the things that we may do. Uh, they came to him. It's, it's kind of like a, a pastor in the church. The people find a pastor that they will lead them. But not everybody wants to get on board of all the things he's trying to lead them to do. You see, a pastor is appointed by God to lead a people, to, uh, uh, to mature a people so they can face the enemy on the outside world. Amen. This is not the battle in here. The right. battle is out there. Right. Right. You see, we're trained in here. I went into the army as a 22-year-old uh, young man. And uh, I had my ideas about America, but there were, when they drafted me, they said, we're going to show you how to be a soldier. I got off the bus in Fort Knox, Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, I uh, immediately getting off the bus along with my other people. I seen that there was a whole raft of yellow footprints on the pavement. And uh, the, my sergeant yelled out as loud as I've ever heard in my life, okay, you men, get on those yellow footprints. And I tell you, we all moved. Can you imagine that? And we're trying to find our way right there. And he goes up and down the lines. He said, now I don't know where you boys came from or what your previous life was, but you're in the army now. And we all came to attention. He showed us how to come to attention. And uh, so then started our boot camp process. Now, as these men here uh, came to Jeremiah, they said, uh, teach us. Show us the way where we may walk and the thing that we may do. So Jeremiah, like a good sergeant, like a good commander, right. a sergeant of the troops for his uh, platoon, uh, he takes his God and he said, now this is what I want you to do. Look in verse 4. Then Jeremiah the prophet said to them, I've heard you. Behold, I will pray in the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you, and I will keep nothing back from you. So Jeremiah is trying to tell him. Now, uh, I found out that one thing about the training sergeants, uh, I hope you're not bored about the military. I think we need to love our troops. Amen. I think we need to pray. You know, uh, I was in during the Vietnam War. I didn't have the uh, honor, uh, privilege to go to Vietnam and fight in Vietnam. I was a motor sergeant most of my opportunities in the, in the Army. I was a motor sergeant for over 16 years. So I got the vehicles and I trained the men how to behave when they got in country in Vietnam. But, you know, our soldiers went over there and the people back here, because of the wickedness in Washington, uh, uh, caused the hate to be given of those young men. Those young men that were chosen, those young men that was 
joined the army to serve their country. They went over there and they did their job. Each one did what they were appointed to do. They carried their weapon. They faced the enemy. And then they come back to America to the shame and humiliation of being called criminals. And yes, killers. you're right. Listen, when a soldier's in the war, he's got one idea, and that's the mission, friend. It's yes. the mission, friend. That ought to be on the mind of a Christian. Amen. It's the mission, friend. It's right. the mission, friend. Amen. Hey. Praise God. Amen. We're training soldiers today. We're training right. soldiers in our congregation yeah. to face the enemy. That young man Amen. got off uh, in boot camp there, and he didn't know what he was going to face. He was going to be trained for hardness. Right. Yes. That's what it says right there in 2 right. Timothy. Yeah. It yeah. says endure hardness as a good soldier. Yeah. Not just a soldier that fell in a uniform. Talking about a soldier that is in there for the fight. Right, right. Praise God. Some of the outfits I went to join at the time I went in joined for uh, benefits of college. Yeah. Right. They said, well, I get free college out of this. Well, yeah, if you survive. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you survive, you've got college benefits. Many of our boys didn't survive. 68,000 of our boys didn't survive. Yeah. But they paid the life, the ultimate penalty for our country. Amen. You know, I'm going to make a similarity here. That as a Christian, my life is not valuable unto my own. My life belongs to Christ. Amen. I am bought with a price. I belong to Him. Amen. Praise God, I got His uniform on. Amen. I got His plate Praise God, I'm glad I got the right plate. Amen. Right Amen. Amen. Right Amen. 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 That's a King James Bible, praise God. I'm using nothing else. Right. Because I don't, I don't like the other things that's coming out. They're all a bunch of perversion. Some of them said, well, brother, it makes it easier to understand. You better be careful about what you understand. It might not be what God wants you to understand. I notice that God a lot of times deals with things we don't understand. He does things a little bit different. I don't understand all that. But I believe it, don't you? Amen. Some of our people say, well, I need to get another commentary to know what that verse means. I want to give you something. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know a lot, but I know a few things. I've been around long enough to better have gained a few things. One thing is I'm never going to understand everything in this Bible. That's right. But you take it by faith. Oh, yes. Yes. You believe it by faith. Man. Because Man. you know you're a Christian. Listen, you've got a commander that don't have to reveal every secret he's got. Yes. Yes. Right. Praise God. This outfit in Washington wants, a, wants our, all of our uh, enemies to know everything we're doing. What's the matter with them? Fool. They don't know anything. They don't know anything about about uh, warfare. Hey. Facing the enemy. Praise God. Most of what we did, the soldier didn't know until the last moment. That's yes. right. Amen. My sergeant's been in the fight. He knows a little bit about fighting. Right there. I'm glad right about that. Second thing I want you to know, he wants me to be prepared. Yes. Will you look over with me over to Ephesians chapter 4? He wants me to be prepared. That's why we're here. We're prepared. Yes. Amen. Ephesians in chapter 4. Amen. I'm turning. I'm turning. I got a lot of pages in here. Amen. <laughs> it's good to get it. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Let me go have another swig of this. Ah, well, it's good. Yeah. There's no water in hell, you know. That's why you better be with the Lord. He's Amen. Amen. Water. Amen. Now watch this. Ephesians 4, verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. You realize there, according to your study Bible, most of you have that, that these are gifts. Yes. Pastors, evangelists, missionaries, they're gifts to the church. They're Amen. gifts. You ought to treat them like a gift. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes a, a pastor, when he has somebody in the preacher with you, every once in a while, ought to tell his people to appreciate the guy that you got. Amen. 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 Because they don't go out of the assembly line like they do the cars, That's the poor right. trucks sitting Amen. over there, unsold Amen. over there at the right. <laughs> Listen, you're, you, when you get a good pastor, you've got to appreciate it. Amen. And I thank Amen. God for it. I've got good people that serve that uh, help me up there, work sure, with me, sure. and uh, yeah. you know they're they're kind of characters, and you know some of them. Yep. They came down here to said to hear some good preaching. Yeah. Ah. Well, I praise God for that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but Ephesians, their gifts. Now look at verse twelve. Now here's what their gifts for. Yes. For the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. You realize that sheep have sheep. Sheep have lambs. Shepherds don't bear lambs. They take care of sheep. Yep. Yep. 
Amen. Praise God. Aren't you glad that a pastor is supposed to help you to mature? Amen. And to help you to mature, you've got to listen to what he said. Right. Right. Which is, uh, for the work of the ministry, the edifying of the body of Christ. We go on here in verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man under the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. You know, uh, I'm not into changing words in the Bible. I like perfect right there. I don't believe, I'm not a sinless perfection guy. I don't believe you get the point where you're perfect in your sinlessness. But I'll tell you what, as a Christian, you ought to sin less. Amen. 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 Y'all sit less. You know the one thing about this: before the eyes of God, I am perfect Amen. in my Savior, Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. He looks at He looks down at me, and He don't see Dave's Amber. He sees His Son, the Lord Jesus right. Christ. Amen. He's the God. I'm covered by the blood. What do you know about that? You know when Jesus was on the cross, He looked down there and He seen Dave's Amber, and Dave's Amber deserved death. Yeah. And, and I got death at the hands of a wicked world, but God allowed it to happen because that's the wages of sin. The wages of sin is death. And praise God, I got the life of Christ. And God looks at me and He said, That's my son. Aren't we glad that we got eternal life? Aren't we glad that we got eternal life? Aren't we glad that we got heaven's home? Praise God. That's good stuff. Let's go on. Verse 14. That, the hen, that henceforth, now this is good, folks, that henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine, yeah. Yeah. by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lay in wait to deceive. Now let me stop here. Uh, he wants me to be prepared, so he trains me. He trains me to know what the enemy does. Yeah. Now let, let me relay this here. I probably got to get off this platform so you can see uh, when I was in the army, we had training sessions. How many men here are prior service? Hold your hand up. Any prior service? God bless you. Amen. Some of you, you know what I'm talking about. We, uh, we went out to, uh, to train, and they warned us about the tactics of the enemy. You know, that, uh, Brother Man, that the enemy has tactics. Mm. He just doesn't happen to have things every once in a while to stow your way. He's got a plan to defeat you as a yeah, Christian. Yeah. He's got a plan to keep everybody that is lost stay lost. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's why he attacks churches and he attacks Christians. Uh, yeah. He discourages you and he makes you despondent so you don't do what you're trained to do. Right. Yeah. Amen? And yeah. that's when the souls of lost men and boys, right. uh, men and boys and girls and women. Amen. Yeah. We're out there trying to save those souls and train to those people into the righteousness of Christ. Right. You know, yeah. Let me stop before I did this. This is my second stop already. Uh, about uh, in, in soul winning. I believe we ought to be soul winning. Amen? Right. But we're not soul winning just to get people to heaven. We are so winning to make them into the image of Christ. Yeah. And the image of Christ is righteousness. Yeah. Where is righteousness in our church? Right. Where is righteousness and holiness? That hey. word that scares many of us. Listen, where is holiness in our church? Yeah. Yeah. Praise God, He's called us a more separated one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. we went in the army that everyone has had the same uniform. That's right. right. That's the same uniform. Praise God. I knew the enemy because his uniform was. Like my yeah, uniform. Right. Amen. Yeah, my, yeah. And my distinction, uh, where my status in the army, praise God, was by rank. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was an NCO. I went as a slick sleever. By that, we had stripes on our sleeves. I went as a slick sleever. And through uh, training, as they trained me, and as I was able to get into my uh, OJT and my, my job classification, I was able to gain some rank. And that rank distinguished me as somebody else that didn't have rank. Right. You understand? You know, God's God has got an army mind. Yes. Some of you folks are not agreeing with that. I can see it on the page. You're right. God has got an army mind. He's the best tactician. Amen. God knows the enemy before the enemy knows what's happening. You say, no, no, that can't be. Well, it happened to a king that was wondering where uh, one of their prophets was. Yeah. He said, man, everywhere we go, somebody is there waiting for us to ambush us. How does he know that? Do we have a spy in one of our people here? The enemy said that. 
And one of the men came to him and said, no. He said, God's telling the prophet. He said, everything where we go before we get there. Amen. That's God, you see. That's Amen. what he is. Amen. And I praise God for that, aren't you? Amen. You know, now watch this. My, my sergeant. My commander trains me for the battle. In uh, in Vietnam, we knew that the enemy over there was, uh, you, you know, the Asian mind is a is a very different mind than the American mind. Sure. They just think differently than we do. That's right. Yeah. They just do. I mean, uh, long and short of it. They, uh, uh, and, and what they would do is they'd make punji sticks, uh, and they stick them in the pass. Most of the time, they they put a decoy in the path, and then on the side, when somebody yelled that there's a, you know, there's going to be an attack, the soldier would naturally go into the underbrush next to him, and they would have these punji sticks and bamboo poles sharpened into the underbrush so you couldn't see them. So you'd impale yourself on them. You see? And, and they weren't necessarily wanting to kill you, Rick. They wanted to put you out of action. Yes. Because when he right. puts you out of action, it takes two troops to get right. you to the back. Right. You see, they know that's a they're tactician. They're, they're snares and they're traps. Yes. My sergeant prepared me for that. That's good training. Praise yeah. God. Listen to this. He gave me boots that had an insert that the punji stick wouldn't go up to my sole of my foot. Yeah. You know what? I, I'd step on that punji stick and that thing would bend over and I'd go on. And the enemy said, that's not working anymore. Listen, my tactician, my sergeant. Hey. 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 And God's Praise my sergeant. Yeah. He hey. knows me and he loves me. Listen, hey. he wants me to stay hey. He wants me to be a soldier hey. on the right side. Hey. Listen, there's too many people that are trading now and selling out to the enemy. You're right. My sergeant wants me to be prepared. Also, he told me that not everybody that's on your side is on your side. Yeah. Right. Amen. You're right. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but see, an army on the move. Uh, I know we sing a great song. Boy, amen. We sing a song called Hold the Fort. Yeah. We all love that song. I do. Amen. I love yes. that song. Yes. But you know what? I know that everybody gets behind walls for defense, eventually gets beaten. Yeah. yeah. The only way you win is by offense. Right. Praise God, there's enough of you people who watch that degenerate football game here to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that pre bad defense never works. No, it's not. They score the first touchdown when you go into it. Right, right. Now, this. You know, here's how it works. You're in a, when a unit moves into position as they're advancing, they got to have a stop. They got they got to consolidate. So they move into position and they set up their perimeter, set up perimeter defense. Many of you people know what I'm talking about, foxholes. Amen. I think I preached on that down here one too. But uh, 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 you set up your foxholes and then you uh, have a password for anybody that would come in to your unit. Well, here's the here's way it works. Now, I'm trying to talk to you about Christian warfare. Yes, sir. I'm using modern warfare, yes. or the warfare of our soldiers, <coughs> to illustrate Christian warfare. Right. right. Here's what the enemy can do. He knows walking straight in, you're going to kill him. Sure. Because he's trying to penetrate you. That's right. Yeah. You see? Yes, sir. But that's not the way they do it. You see... The enemy is here, but he doesn't come in to you that way. No. Right. He comes in this way. Right. He's advancing toward your position backwards. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And you look out there and you say, who goes there? Or you have a password sign. He's, he doesn't answer the password because he don't know the password. You understand? He's coming in like this with his weapon trained out toward the enemy. And he comes in and he said, they're coming. I'm an advanced guard from our unit. They're coming in. You let him in because you think he's one of you. Yeah, yeah. But he's not one of you. He's one of them. Right. Folks, listen. We're having that in our country. Amen. That's good. Yeah. In case you don't know it, the American way of life is going away. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. You say, well, God, we're out your soul, brother. We don't care about what happened to our country. Shame on you. Amen. Hey. Hey. God, you're living here. You're sheltered here. You're eating here. Yeah. Right. Hey. God, I love your country, praise God. Hey. But you see, 
said, well, I'm a Christian. I got a country that far away. That's well, right. God put you here right now. Yeah. You got to do something to love your country. Listen, I'm a patriot. Yes. I'm a Christian patriot. Yes. I'm not a traitor to my country. Yes. Praise God. Has anybody in here ever read the Patriot Bible? It's a King James. It also comes in another perversion. <laughs> but the Patriot Bible, you ought to get a copy of that. It's got the quotations of our forefathers and what they thought God meant to our country. I love to hear about Andrew Jackson. I love to hear about our presidents that stood for our country. Listen, I want to hear them great quotations. Amen. Nathan Hale said, I regret that I have but one way to give for my country. Amen. Praise God. How about that as a Christian? Yeah. How about our life to be given to Christ? I regret that I have one way. Yes. Yeah. To get to my Savior. Yes. Amen. You're right. Amen. It's going away because we're sitting and singing songs. Yes. Amen. Quiet. Yeah. Yeah. My sergeant wants to keep me alive. Yeah. Yes. Right. And I've got to get on board with him. Amen. I want to be aware when the enemy comes in looking like he's my friend and they're the same way as we are. That's right. Yes. Hey, back. This new evangelism. This new evangelism. In case you haven't seen some of the tracks, we use fellowship like we tracks. We had Brother uh, Brown Dryer. We had Brother Tim Lapish. You know him, Brother Tim Lapish? Yeah. Fellowship like me. We had him come up, and I, I asked for this. Boy, I hope my time's not getting away. I asked him to come up, and I said, Preacher, uh, we're missing, we're noticing that a lot of our tracks are leaving out repentance. Mm -hmm. They're talking about accepting Christ as your Savior. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're using Scripture for it. You know the devil needs Scripture for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not casting any dispersion on fellowship tractor because they die more accidentally than I'll ever do on purpose. Mm -hmm. But listen, when we go out to win souls, we're going to win souls by confronting them with their sin. Yeah. Right. Not giving them a second alternative for heaven. Right. 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 You know, God can't stand sin. He couldn't look at his son. Right. My God, my God, why well, ask that for something? Amen. Yeah, right. You're right. Couldn't look upon his son, that fourth cry from the cross. You know it well. Amen. When we get people saved, we want yeah. to bring them and mature them into the image of Christ that they might be holy, separated Amen. unto God Amen. by peculiar people. Yeah. Yeah. Our soul winning today, and we stand in the square of Medina, Ohio, with tracks and pass them out to pass you by. And so many people say, no, we don't need that. Now, we're good. We're good. I know in the back of my mind, you're not good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what they tell me. Right. And in every track that we give out to us, we make sure that it has repentance. Amen. You better check your tracks. Yeah. It's, a, it's agreeable to give out tracks to try to get people in the, in the body of Christ, trying to get people saved. But you better do it right. You better yeah. do it according to the Word of God. Amen. In case when our, our men preached last week, I'm almost done, brother. Yes. One of our men today, yesterday, sometime in that, uh, he, 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 talked, he talked about uh, what was the train of thought. How could that happen? <laughs> you know, he, he talked about uh, dealing with uh, the separated life. Mm -hmm. Talking about dealing with the separated life. Yeah. You know, when, when God is calling people to be saved, he wants them to repent yeah. of their sins. Yes. Turn to yes. Acts chapter 20, would you? Amen. Acts chapter right. 20. Brother Amos, you turn. Would you read verse 21? Yeah. Acts chapter 20 and verse 20. My boy, I sure hope I got the scripture right. <laughs> Acts 20, verse 21. Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith for our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, God's pretty high on it. Amen. He's pretty high on repentance toward God. 
right. and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what you see, Nathan? You see repentance toward God. That, listen, I've sinned against the holy God. Amen. I'm confronted Amen. with my sin. Yeah. I'm confronted in soul with it that I'm a sinner and can't be accepted under the grace of God. The terms of the surrender is holiness and submission unto the holy God. That's the terms. Right. So I repent toward God who I've offended and turn and trust, put my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. who completed Amen. the law. Right. Yeah. It's repentance yeah. and faith. Repentance and faith. Right. There's a turning, a turning. Yes. And we're not getting that out to our people. I'm nobody to instruct anybody. Listen, I failed God so much. But I want to do it right. I want to be on the firing line. I want to make sure that I count as a soldier. I want to make sure that my commander can trust me and have faith in me. Amen. 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 And lastly, you know, because I'm a soldier and I'm called to duty, my commander says there's going to be a reward. I retired from the Army in 1985. I enlisted, I drafted in 1964, and I retired in 1985. And uh, you know what Paul said? He was, he was telling you about his reward. He's talking about his reward. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Yeah. Right. Well, don't you love that? You know what that is? That's a reward. Yes. Uh, praise God. Everything that you do that God has wanted to do and he's going to use you and work through you, yeah. You're going to get the credit for it. Amen. He did it, but you get the credit for it. Amen. Man, I'm glad about that, aren't you? Amen. Praise God. I've been to parades. I've been to uh, 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 large uh, assemblies of men as they've been rewarded. And praise God, they're standing out there. I've seen thousands of men on a parade field. Everyone I'm in a uniform. Everyone I'm looking straight. Everyone I'm at attention. Praise God, it was marvelous to see. They're all standing out there. Straight, man, praise God. I'll be mean, just as straight as you could get. Yes. Row after row after row. Yeah, yeah. And then the general comes out. It's brigade. It's brigade. Uh -huh. I've got battalions, five battalions of brigade. And the general comes out. And everybody's at attention. Yeah. And the band is playing, and praise God, they finally stopped so he can hear the general. And he says, Men to be awarded! Stand full! And a few men out of these battalions, <laughs> a few men out of these battalions <laughs> come out of their squad. Amen. Yeah. Come out of their platoon. <laughs> and then watch the way up to the front. It's good. And they march up and they form a single file line yeah. in front of the general. Amen. Amen. If you haven't seen it, you haven't lived. Right, right. And the general comes to each man. That's right. Could you stand for it? Go then. You're of attention. And he comes to him and he said, Soldier, I'm proud of you for your achievements. And he takes a medal mm -hmm. and he pins it yes. yeah. on his fist. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he moves yeah. to the next man. Yeah. yeah. My, my. That's going to happen for you if you're saved today. Amen. As you serve God admirably. Amen. So dry. Uh, you know what I want to make sure? As a sergeant, I'm preparing the people that God has given me. Yeah, boy. To be awarded. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I want to prepare you and mature you for the battle that you have. Yes. Amen. I'm not talking to strangers in here, folks. I'm talking to brothers and sisters. A pastor's job is not an easy job. All right. He's got to get through personalities, emotions, family problems, yeah. weaknesses that every one of us have. But his ultimate goal 
is to have you stand before God to be a warrior, brother. Amen. Amen. And when you get that pinned on you, you're not silent about it. Yeah. I see in Revelation chapter 5, millions and millions of angels and saints give praise to the Lamb. Amen. Amen. Yes. That that medal I got on my chest, he did it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But I get to wear it. Yeah. yeah. And I get to wear it for eternity. Amen. Yeah. There's going to be ranks in heaven. Mm -hmm. We're all going to be the same. There's no big eyes and little U's. We're an army that's went forth, polished and matured and disciplined. Yes. But certain individuals are going to stand out and you're going to be rewarded by the kingdom glory. Amen. So folks, if you get discouraged in the battle, yeah. you realize that you've got a sergeant who cares about you. Amen. He knows the enemy and he's going to equip you and he's going to mature you that you live through the battle, that you stand before the commander Amen. and receive your just reward. But hang in there. Hang in there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't quit. Amen. I, like that, I like that one brother. I think it's Aaron Calvin. Is he here? No. All right. That was tender and pressing. No. <laughs> you know, I like it. But if not. Right. I, I think that's going to wind up in a few churches in a couple of days. But if not. Yeah. Whether I'm rewarded or not, I love my commander. Amen. And I'm going to serve. Do you know what? Good, There's man. something to be said standing in the rank with a lot of other men that have been through what you're through, yeah. standing in that rank, representing your commander, representing your country. Amen. Oh, folks. Amen. It's over. Amen. Hang in there. Yes. yes. Because you're sergeant. Is pulling for you. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Father, we thank you, God, for the opportunity. For the opportunity to preach this morning. Oh, God, I pray that you get all the glory that you deserve. I pray that you get more and more glory out of us as you use us, God. If you use us up, that's fine too. But God, have your will and your way for Christ's wonderful sake. Yes. And amen. 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 Amen.